So we've given you a lot of options, the different ways you have to handle the overheads, whether it's the slice overhead, the, the flat overhead, the, the topspin overhead, the forehand overhead, the backhand overhead, off the bounce overhead. And as you grow your game, it's important that you practice these with enough time that your confidence level gets so high that you don't have to think when you play. It's an automatic response. So I need to practice these, and I have three ways I can practice. Number one is by myself. We mentioned that there was a slice overhead, so I have my grip correct, tossing it to the continental grip, tossing the ball to my right, and aiming the shot. Where should I aim it? If I'm going to hit a slice, did I probably hit the ball deep or short? What do you think? I would guess probably short. So I'd practice tossing the ball to my right, hitting a slice overhead. And the, how do I know it's a good shot? It landed inside the service line of my opponent's court, and it hit the side fence. So that way I've got something to measure if I were actually hit the ball with the right depth, the right speed, and the right direction. Um, what about the flatter overhead? Well, this one I'm going to go for speed. And I'm going to probably just aim the palm of my right hand where I want the ball to go, and I'm going to go for a ball behind my opponent's service line. I don't know if I have enough depth, because it should touch the fence before it bounces. It hits the ground, and the next touch is against the fence. It shouldn't touch the court again. What about the topspin overhead? It's going to be more of an arcing or more of an arcing ball again. So same way it will land behind my opponent's service line. It'll touch the fence again before it touches the ground twice. So I went enough depth that the contact points against the fence. Angle overheads against the side fence inside the service line. Deep overheads, flat and topspin, are going to be more toward behind the service line touching the fence. I got to do it on the backhand side as well. So adjusting my grip, I have the angle overhead, short angle, I'm going out here and the ball is going short angle so it touches the side fence. The deep overhead, I'm practicing this one, so it touches the fence again before the bounce. So I can toss the ball to myself to practice the overheads I want. Ideally, though, I have a practice partner. I want to get so that it's not the perfect toss. It's off a real shot. So I have my practice partner come out, and a good way to practice is having give me a ball that I can volley back to him. I didn't put the ball away, so what would he typically do? Lob. So now I have to practice reacting to whatever I've seen him do in an automated response. I see it and I have to make a decision, topspin, flat, slice, forehand or backhand. And out of the 10 overheads that he gives me, if I can get seven back in the correct direction, so my overhead is angled, touches the side fence, my deep overhead touches the back fence, I'm starting to own that shot. So my depth of concentration is so good, it's more automatic as we play. And that's our goal, is take a variety of shots, automate the responses. So the response are intuitive as you play the matches. I also would want to have him feed the ball very high so I can practice my off the bounce overhead. It's too high to, to actually play out of the air. So I'm going to give away a little bit of ground this time because the ball is so high. Instead of playing out of the air, I'm going to move back behind it. But as I prepare, I'm going to move back into the ball. My side shuffles into the shot so I'm able to really step into the overhead off the bounce. Guess where this thing's going? It's going to touch the back fence on that kind of a shot. So practice is important if you're going to really improve your game and grow it the way you'd like.